All right, this says data is awesome. I'm going to sh continue what I was talking about last time with the data parsing. Um, here, if I run the previous thing we're working on, we should be able to get, uh, here, actually, I'm going to clear, and then I'm going to Python 3, uh, test py. So this is kind of what we are getting. I commented out some of the other things. So we could have, um, uh, we could have a little bit uh, of a cleaner output for what we are working on. So the first thing we're going to try is um, it's kind of manipulating some data in list. So I will uh, show you how to do that right now. So if we go string range array equals string csv to split, remember we're still splitting at that comma. Um, yeah, I'm hoping you guys kind of like, um, uh, this is a range by the way, so we're doing zero to four. I'll show you some other kind of uh, things about it. Hoping because kind of likes this new video format. Uh, I thought this might be easier to see. Okay. So here we are. Let's save. And we will. All right. Cool. So if let's say I chop one off, you shouldn't see blue anymore. Yep. So if I chop from this side, I should be able to get it to just be John and the Raiders. Yep. So there we go. So here's how you kind of manipulate if you only want like a specific thing. And I think if you want, because this is just manipulating the array. Yeah. So that's, uh, I thought that was kind of a cool technique to get kind of a specific one. Like for example, if you know that you only are ever gonna want these middle two, you can strip out the rest of the stuff from the array to make your smaller array. All right, so I'm going to move on to updating. So what if, Let's say, for example, you want um, uh, uh, you want uh, you want um, to update. Let's say one of the items because this is a list it can be updated so you just specify the array and or list indice or array indice and uh, you just update it like that so here print string range array okay so save Start again. All right. So we show that we still we can update uh, readers to Bob. Uh, let's say we want our um, whole array back. So here, why don't we uh, remove the range off of here? If we come back here, then we changed John to Bob, which is more of what we were looking for there. So what if uh, you just kind of want to uh, 
remove Bob out of the equation altogether. So you would go string, actually go del for delete, and go string range array one. You would go print. Now, when we do this, we should actually be able to get um, our thing back. Cool. So we ended up. Uh, see that? See that? We deleted uh, from our uh, array list. Yeah. Now you could end up. Because that'll pop that out of the list. So here, if you actually go delete string range array one again, here, let's see what it does now. You actually got rid of raiders and that. And if you go again, you go one, and then you print that again. All right, let's try this again. Now we're only left with five. Now if you Pretty sure this will air out. Uh, we want to try it. All right, and we'll do zero. And then if you print, oh, cool. Yeah, I just showed you an empty array. That's cool. And then if you want to. If you go um, string range array append, why don't we go, let's say, we want to append one, and then you go print. Sam in the list. So what if we want to keep on adding? So here, why don't we add in the other two pieces of information that we were talking about before? Ugh. Say 
Oh, have the best of us. Let's redo that. All right, we're good to go. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. I thought that was kind of on the cool side. Um, yeah, kind of manipulating some data and strings. Um, thought you guys might kind of like some more manip data manipulation. Um, uh, again, hope you guys kind of like the video. This is uh, data is awesome. Um, hope to uh, see you guys in the next one.